when you get off the beaten path, whether it's the Yukon or just the wild places near your home, I think that everybody is well rewarded for making that little bit of extra effort, pushing yourself maybe a little further than you thought you could, because the reward is something that you can take away, something you'll never forget. You gotta be careful all the time. There are very few opportunities that a guy can go out and hunt doll sheep from his front door. I wish every white rock that I thought might be a sheep was a sheep. If they were, it would be way too easy. Are you handling me? Yeah. And if it's too easy, it's not worth doing, right? I don't want the big one. <laughs> okay, come on, guys. Bye, Dad. See you. Love you guys. There are very few times when a guy can walk out his front door and go hunt doll sheep. Living in the southern Yukon, it's, it's something that is possible. We're gonna do that now. The idea behind Wild, the Yukon, is that we do as many of our hunts as humanly possible without the assistance of any motorized vehicle. It's gonna be long, it's gonna be hard, but at the end of the day, it's gonna be all, all us, all the time. Years of athletics and years of multi-sport, endurance training and hunting has culminated in this perfect storm of what we call wild Yukon. traveling hundreds of kilometers to harvest a doll sheep has always been something that I thought about and wanted to do. And now in a position that we're just gonna do it.
little bit interesting crossing the middle of the lake there. Get some good uh, white caps and some good rollers. Well, we're right in the middle of the, the wind and the wind comes kind of funnels and you kind of get hit from both sides almost from some of those waves. So it was nice to get out of there. And this part of the lake is always calm. 90% of the time anyways, when the other end is raging. So it's, it's quite a contrast right now. <laughs> The next leg begins now. Time to pull out the compass, because this morning we wake up after a beautiful day yesterday to rain and low cloud, and to go up this drainage, which through the heavy timber. We don't want to go off course any further than we have to, so it's better to stay on point and try not to make any nav errors. We have a lot of ground to cover here. We're heading up this drainage through the bush. It's pretty wet, but it's actually not as bad as it probably looks. We can pick up these moose trails. Every now and again, you know, you have a, a good line for a while and then obviously you, it, it dies out. But we're heading up into the rocks now, so it'll be a little bit more open, which will be nice. I could pull out the map and, uh, and really show you how far we have to go but it's probably not an advantage. This moss is slippery. Whew. Sorry, the lichen. The lichen on these rocks when it's wet. It's that time to pull the binoculars out. Kind of breaking into the semi-alpine here. You can start to see these mountains and the clouds are somewhat lifting. So you wouldn't want to walk past a huge ram that you didn't know was there. We only have another two and a half, three kilometers to completely get out of this timber down there. Obviously we're not walking in the timber now, but we're on the side hill and it's kilometers of side hilling so far. So another few K and we'll wrap this, wrap this up out of this valley, get to the call. We are, once we just crest this saddle, we drop down the other side, all the way down to the drainage. So we've got about we've done about 11k. There's a big lake right up in that bowl. Yeah. Be a pretty cool spot to hang out. So we're coming up to that saddle, eh? Where we through the pass. So we have another kilometer and a half to the saddle and that saddle is fairly wide itself before we drop down the other side and right off this mountain block. We got a long ways to go so. Yeah. How nice is that to bust out of those trees into the alpine though, eh? every white rock that I thought might be a sheep was a sheep. But if they were, it would be way too easy. This valley is beautiful. 
great to see three rams up there. One's legal, but not what we're looking for, but amazing to see nonetheless. <laughs> Nine more kilometers. until we're there. <laughs>